Hey guys, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. In the last part, I just showed you one of the biggest hints at Super Mario Galaxy that nobody ever knew about, and I will show you it again in case you didn't see it. I'd like to visit outer space someday, and as you all know, anybody that played Super Mario Galaxy knows that there is Luigi Galaxy if you beat the game with all 120 stars. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I thought that, that was really cool because, you know, I played this game again after I got, um, galaxy and then i saw that i was like whoa wait a minute what that's awesome anyway go ahead and talk to the telescope once you talk to the telescope you can't see that little hint anymore so yeah um go ahead and talk to the telescope and we see space in the dimensions and palkia but not really uh there's the moon out there and yeah we look at the moon zoom in at the moon and then the room broke and then we are out in space somehow and then these little comets will come down and then you have to try to suck them up and then spit them at the moon okay this is really tricky and I don't like doing it on yeah got it awesome kaboom BAM we blew up the moon that's awesome that's actually pretty dang epic and then once you destroy the moon uh, we get a starlight bridge across to Mario's star. Sweet. There's a floating platform out in space that was apparently two feet away. So wait a minute. If Mario was trying to escape the booze, why would he come out here? This is a completely dead end. You found Mario's star. My, what a glittering beauty. Mario. Yeah, we're calling out for him in space. Hey, in space? Wait a minute. Mario. Nobody can hear you scream in space. Ah, well, that was like freaking horrible. Never mind. <laughs> Nobody can hear you scream in space. So, what are you calling for Mario out there for? Anyway, there's a boo in here I forgot to get. Apparently, um, let's go ahead and look for him. Uh, looks like he's in the chandelier. Or not? Looks like I get some extra money. Oh wait, no, no, no. Here we go. There he is. Here we go. Boonswoggle, blah, whatever the heck that means. Well, this one's no, 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 no. Yeah, own in the face. Boom, gotcha. Guys, look, you—it's like you were born to capture Luigi's boo. I mean, no. Okay, so now um, we got that other key. We've got two keys that we can use so far. So I'm gonna go back and uh, use the one that requires backtracking. So, I'm just gonna get that done first. So, yeah. Let's just run it back through the mansion. I'm not gonna sing, because I am not good at singing. You know, even when I, yeah, well, it's kinda like those times when I try to be funny and then I just fail horribly. Ugh, anyway. So we're just walking through the courtyard again. Man, this is some courtyard. Aren't courtyards usually more to the center of a house? What? This one's like in the back. Shouldn't that just be like the backyard? Um, anyway. Uh, actually both of the keys require, uh, backtracking. Huh, I never, I forgot about that. Uh, well I'm gonna go all the way back first because then I can just come back and get the other ghost on the way. On the way back to area three, I mean. So anyway, uh, just come in here and then, I mean not come in, you know what I mean. You just come back out to the foyer and then go in here, sorry. And this is where our key goes to. You get this from the granny. And then let's just go ahead and use this key. Back in episode uh, three, I think, I mentioned that there were uh, pictures of two little kids in the baby room. So this is where our foreshadowing goes to. So yeah, we've got a second room here. Uh, are they here yet? Um. I swear, though, I hate the twins' room. Oh, no. What is that? Monsters. Oh, okay. I think you have to suck off this poster. I think. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, that's what you do. You see this little, um, the little helicopter thing. You set this to spinning. Dang it, I can't even get it to spin. There we go. Come on! I just have to walk in circles with it. Jeez, this is pathetic. <laughs> Here we go, there they are. Jeez, they're a little bit older, aren't they? Hey, mister, what are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide-and-seek with us? Ha 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 Okay, let's play. Yay! 
Okay, we're gonna hide now. Wait outside. OMG, I hate this game. I think. I'm fairly certain that I utterly hate this little game you have to play. Okay, you can come in now. Alright, then you walk right back in, and there, all of a sudden, there are boxes. And really creepy music. Uh, I don't think you can search the boxes for anything, but I'm gonna try. Okay, nothing. Let me see. I'm gonna try searching all of them. Okay. No. 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 Okay, so it looks like you just have to get lucky. Um. Well, let me see. Actually, look. Looks like I am. Aha! I found him. Okay. That's what you do. Not bad, mister. Okay, so all you do is you just suck on the boxes, and the ones that shake have them in them. I never knew that, and I always had so much trouble. Hey, that's not right. Play fair, cheater. Hey, how'd they find me out? Um, now what happens is they will attack you, and I kind of forgot how to do this. Whoa. So what you do is uh, you start sucking up on their little toys, and then uh, they will fall off and blah, blah, blah. And you, I would imagine you probably want to get the one on the car first, just because, you know, bombs are a lot easier to dodge than, uh, the car. But, uh, one on the plane will keep, uh, flying around dropping bombs on you, and occasionally he'll do, like, a little dive bomb. Whoa, 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 I don't want that, what the heck? I sucked up the poster from across the room. Uh, just keep sucking up on their, uh, little toys, and then they'll fall off, you just suck them up. It's really pretty simple. Um, I don't think they won't drop any pearls until you get to just one twin left. I think they will both drop them. They'll both drop them depending on who's left. So, it's not like there's just one that drops pearls. Don't worry about that. Aha! Alright, that's one down. And now this will be a whole lot easier. Now just start sucking up the plane, and then let's get you. There we go. See, there are the pearls. He's easy, jeez. Look at this. Am I gonna get him all in one shot? Come on, come on, come on, come on. First Area 3? Oh, yeah. An area 3 ghost all in one shot. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and suck up our spoils here. Crap, there's the boo already. Call me Booris. Und be Azrid? What the heck is that? No, no, no. No, 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 no. I say that every time I catch a boo. I'm like, no, 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 no. Then I get him. Oh yeah. Well done, my boy. This time I have a special bit of information for you. Ghosts other than booze will not appear in the direction you're looking, so you have to sneak up on them backward. Oh, what the heck? That's totally not use- that's totally useful. Uh, go ahead- ooh! Go ahead and open the chest and we get Mario's shoe. It smells like Mario's feet. That's just wonderful. Open the chest- or not the chest, open the little, um, what's it called here? Um, the little- Drawers. What the heck? I can't even talk. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of money in here. I think the only money you can... Yeah, well, looks like there's no money in here at all. Jeez. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's a heart. Well, looks like there's nothing but hearts in there, so if you need money, uh, too bad. Anyway, we got our boo and another picture ghost. Actually, another pair. Actually, let's check them out. Because I want to. Uh, here, let's check out the other ones that we got. Uh, let me see. The bodybuilder. Biff Atlas, 26 years old. This kind of... This kind bodybuilder loves muscles, muscles and lilies. Why lilies? They symbolize purity. Okay. And the bathing beauty, Miss Petunia. The Miss Ghost runner-up from six years ago. She hasn't been modeling, but hasn't had much modeling work lately. The heck? And then you, Nana. Um, she's still knitting the scarf she never finished in life. It's now stretches to 871 feet. That's awesome. And then the twin brothers, Henry and Orville. The twins like to play hide-and-seek, but since they both hide, the game never seems to end. Okay. The, I, you know, it's kind of funny. No, well, it's actually not funny. That's actually the whole point of me saying this. Um, they really could finish off those little descriptions a lot funnier. I think they could have tried harder. But whatever. Here, let's go ahead and get our fortune told about the star and the shoe. Although, I'll have to save uh, the star for the next video. Because I'm running out of time. That sucks. So anyway, mm, what object? Uh, okay, what is this? Mario's shoe. Why the soul is so worn? It's as if he's walked a thousand miles. You know, that doesn't sound too improbable. Okay, oh, they come, blah, 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 we get it. 
Yes, yes. Crystal orb. So it's all you can. The light of spirits come. Show us what we seek. Okay. Listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet, beloved Mario. Oh, horrors. What is this? A king? King Boo? <laughs> My dad. What is this King Boo? I don't understand just what he means, but beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you. Oh, yes, a Boo who wears a crown. I see. This is King Boo. So, he is the one who has captured your Mario. Ah, I can say no more than the spirits leave me. Even now, I'm running out of time. I will see you next time. Bye.